Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a backup application to backup files or folders. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Automator. So once it's loaded up, click application and then choose. Then you want to drag in a file or folder into the application. So I'm going to drag into, uh, let's drag in this folder here. And then let it load up. And then you want to go to files and folders and then see copy finder items and then drag that in. Then you want to go to two and then change the directory. So I'm going to change it to my USB drive. It also works over networks. I could also uh, send it to my MacBook. So once you've done that, save it to wherever you want and then click choose. Then you want to click replace in existing files and then you're done. Click Shift Command and S and then save it as a file format application and then just change the name to whatever you want. So I'm going to change it to Backup App and then click Save. Now we've got to find it somewhere. Backup App. Okay, so now I'm going to open it up and go to Porto. And here it is. So here is the folder, and there is all the files in the folder. So I'm going to delete it and show you that it does work once again. So I'm going to go back and then open it up. And then here is the folder once again. So there you go, guys. That is how to create a backup file, backup application for files and folders in particular. And a little quick tip at the end, as this video is fairly short is if you hold down the ALT key and click um, Time Machine, uh, if it's configured it will show more options. If you hold down the ALT key and click Bluetooth, you can see more options there. So you can see the version and the name and so on. And it also works with the network and the volume. So I can change the input device and the output device. So there you go guys, hope this helps and comment, rate, subscribe. See ya.